All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I'm going over the Fish Creek Animal Hospital case study in our textbook, Web Development and Design Foundations with HTML5, 8th edition, by Terry Felk Morris. Previously, I did the work for Chapter 2, and this was our homepage. And this, no, this was our services page. Now, before I go on, and you don't have to do this, but I'm doing it this way, and that is I'm going back here. I'm going to close all the stuff that I have open. All right, so I'm going to close all of that, and I'm going to come back here, and in Fish Creek, where I have all of this stuff shown right now, I'm going to make two more directories or two more folders, Chapter 02, and a chapter, in fact, let's just leave it there. So I'm going to grab everything I've done so far and put it inside of chapter 02. Then I'm going to copy chapter 02 and put that into chapter 03. So each, with each chapter, I'll have the running example of what it is I'm working with. So index and services, let's edit them. And we're editing them both with... Um, Notepad++, again, is the editor that I'm using. So in this chapter, what we want to do is make these changes. We want to create an external style sheet, so we'll have a new file named fishcreek.css, and we're going to want to do these colors. So we're going to want to use the colors you see here and modify the home page to use the external style sheet. Not a problem. All right? In fact, let's... I like to do this. You don't have to. But I'm going to grab each one of those colors. So pound 003366, pound 6699FF, and the Fs can be capital or lowercase, doesn't matter. Same with a D and the E and the F that are here. All right, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes with that. All right. <clears throat> Modify the services page to be consistent. Yeah. S configure center page layout. Okay. So we've created the folder. All right. So now we have to come in here and create a new file. So a new file. We'll immediately do a file, save as. We're saving it into our chapter 3. And this will be fishcreek.css. All right. So there it is. The first thing I'm going to do is, and I'm, I might be doing this a little out of order, but that's fine. I'm going to put in my link tag. Link rel equal style sheet. All right. And I'm going to say href equals, for right now, I don't think they told us to put this into its own folder. Maybe we'll do that later. Fishcreek.css. All right. So there's my link tag. And I'm going to put that both here, and I'm going to put it here. Okay? All right. Now, to see whether or not they work, to see whether or not they work, let's, if we, if we go back here and look at this, the body background color is going to be this 6699FF. So let's just do that, nothing else. So I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to say body. Now I can either say background dash color or I can just say background, but either way is fine. And again, it's that value that we already put in here. I think we said it was this one. Let's save it. We'll know right away whether or not it works. So let's go to our index page. Color didn't change, so something is wrong. How about our services page? There it changed. That one's working. For some reason, our home page is not working. So let's go back and take a look at our home page, which was index, rel equal style sheet. I didn't save. So launch. All right, so now I've got blue. There's my home page. There's my services page. Well, that's looking good. All right, again, it sure isn't perfect. We, this is the first bit of CSS that we put in here, but we've got to start. All right. background color, the text color, 
is going to be this, and the font is going to be this. So let me just grab, darn it, grab this information that they show here and copy it to the clipboard. Go into my Fish Creek CSS file. I'm just going to paste it in. All right. So home. So font would be under color. So for the color, we're going to do thing two things. And it shouldn't be color, but that's fine. We'll fix that in just a minute. Um, let's see. So this will be color here, and this will be font family, Arial, and we'll just keep it sans serif. In fact, I think I can grab both of these and just throw them here under the body. Get rid of that semicolon. All right, so let's take a look and see what's happened. So we come back. Again, this is our index page. Let's refresh. All right, so you see how we've changed the colors. We've changed the font type. And they've changed both for the home page. All right, and I think where that says services, that's not what that should say here. That's what that should say up here. That should be in our title. Let's double check and see what's in the book. That's always our guide because what's in the book, Fish Creek Animal Hospital, Fish Creek, yep. What is in the book, is there, those are our requirements. All right, so let me just change that and then we'll get going. So the title, Fish Creek. That's what should be up here. And this should just say Fish Creek Animal Hospital. And go back to our home page, Fish Creek. Make that home. All right, let's double check one more time. Fish Creek Animal Hospital, there's our home page, there's our services page. It's looking pretty fine. All right. Global styles for the body, background color, text color. Oh, they want Verdana font. So I can just add Verdana, that's not a problem. What's nice about that is what you see is I can come in and make one change. And since I'm using the same, the same style sheet on both, as soon as I come in here and refresh, you can see how different the font looks. All right, so that's also finished. Okay, styles for the header element. So for the header, we should have a background color and a text color and a serif font as are shown right there. So again, I'm going to copy. So this is for my header element. All right, so background color. Text color. And font family should be just serif. Make sure I've got all my ending semicolons. All right, let's go back and look again. Okay, so my header area, according to this, the background color is set. Well, it's the same as the body's background color. The text color should be a little bit different, and the font family should be different.
Got that done. H1 should be 200 times the line height. All right. So for an H1 header, let me hit enter a bunch of times here. There we go. And I think we want font size to be 200%. Okay. Not seeing my changes resonate on here. At least I don't think I am. But I am saving, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. nav elements should be displayed in bold. Um, let's see if these change once we do this. They're not really showing, but hopefully these are now in bold. We want a new class named Category. Oops. So a class starts with a period, Category. And we want the font to be bold. I think that rather than font style, I think we want the font weight. There we go. So font weight bold. The background color. text color and we want the larger font size all right why is that not changing up oh, because I don't have my semicolon there we go all right so we've got all that styles for the footer should be italic at size 0.70. Okay, so let's grab that. Again, as mentioned, I'm kind of at a natural advantage where you're at more of a disadvantage because I can actually copy things out of the book. So we want the font size to be at 0.7 M's. And we want the font style to be italic. Let's look back here. Let's come back here. And that is not italic right now. I don't even know what the hay happened here. Now my footer has totally disappeared. Whoop, well, that's... A uh, pretty good sign that I put in something wrong, so that's it. that should be 0.7 EMs, not 7 EMs. Now you can see that is extra small, and it is italicized in both. All right, so it looks at least as though our changes are taking place here. All right, go back to the home page and make these modifications. Add a link element to associate the Fish Creek. I already did that. You've already seen that. So back in our home page, I put the link, rel equals style sheet, href equals fishcreek.css. I also have that in my services page. All right, so that's a start. Configure the navigation area. Remove the B tags because the CSS is putting them in for us. 
So in our navigation area here, we can remove all of these B tags. And if you remove a beginning tag, you should always go in and remove the ending tags. That should just make sense to everyone. In fact, I'm going to get rid of them. Let's just grab my whole nav section that's in here, copy it to the clipboard, and we will also put it in here. And we don't have to worry about doing that one again. Don't know what happened there. I think it's this right here. There we go. All right. So let's go back to here. Configure each DT element to apply the class category. Hint. DT class equal category and then remove the strong tags because CSS will configure it for us. All right, so on our home page, we've got these DT tags and I can get rid of this and that's what that's going to say now and I can get rid of the strong tag. Grab this. Replace rid of, replace, and get rid of. All right. Not a bad idea after we've done all this to go back, run it again, make sure we didn't break anything. Okay. Looks okay. All right, let's continue on. Configure the footer area, remove the small and the eye elements, they're no longer needed. And I guess I didn't even put in the eye element to begin with, even though I should have. All right, so that should be okay. Again, I'm gonna grab this, copy it to the clipboard after I save it. Go to my services page and put the same thing in there because that way I'm sure they're going to be consistent. Test it. It should look like what's shown in 332. That's right here. Okay. So let's double check. You can already see there's some problems here. But let's go back and look. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Background color, color, font family, that looks good. For the header, background color, color, font family, that looks good. Font size for H1, the nav, the category tag, font weight, color, color, font size, footer, now, as far as I can tell, that all looks good. Am I missing anything? It's always possible. Let's go back to here and let's compare this again with what was in our instructions. Body element, Oops. background color, 6699FF, text color, D5E3FF, Verdana, Ariel, Sans Serif for our font family. That looks good. For the header, background color, 6699FF, text color, well, that's wrong. Nope, text color 003366, that's right, and a serif font. Okay, that looks good. 
All right, font style, 200% of the line height. So I don't know if that should be line size or should that be, is there a line height? Okay, we'll put that in. The nav should be displayed in bold, so font weight bold. We've got our class category. Bold font, background color of 6699FF, text color of 003366, font size 1.1M, that looks correct. And our footer, font size 0.7Ms, and font style italic. As far as I can tell, as far as I can tell, everything looks good. Now we're supposed to validate our file. That's not what I wanted. So I'm going to come by direct, no, my file input, choose file, and I will go to my desktop. And under my desktop, I've got Fish Creek in here someplace, chapter three, and my Fish Creek CSS file. So there it is, check, no errors. That's always good. All right. Now let's, so I, I've checked everything in step two. Let's double check the stuff that's in step three because I didn't see the colors, all the, I, especially in here, I didn't see the colors that I was, I think, supposed to see. So I'm gonna come back here to my index page, add the link to associate that. We've already got that fishcreek.css, so that looks good. Configure the navigation area. So we were to have come in here and remove the B tags, and you can see they're all gone, so that's good. Configure each DT to apply the category class. So we've got DT class equal category, you can see the first one. DT class equal category for the second one, and DT category, DT category, DT category. Did I spell category right in here? Category, looks like it. So that all, all looks good. Configure the footer area. Let's remove the small and the I elements. So from the footer, you can see the small is gone, and I didn't put an I in to begin with, even though I should have but that's okay. All right, so all of that is done as far as I can tell. Save it and test it in the browser. It should look similar to what's shown in figure 331. So it should look similar to this. All right, so let's do this. run. All right. Now it's looking, I think, the way that it should look. So, as always, I'm going to print screen, take a screenshot. I'm going to come in here and paste that into here. Again, all I care about is the area that you see here. So, I'm going to highlight all of that, copy it to the clipboard, file, new, don't save, don't save, paste. So I want to compare this with what they show in the book. So there's what they have in the book. I don't want that to be full size. I want that to be there and oops, and there. So, just taking a quick look, this is by no means perfect. Well, the, my, my main heading looks like it's the wrong color. As far as I can tell, everything else looks okay. All right? So, got to go back to our main heading that's at the top of the page. That's our H1, remember? There it 
there is the H1. And then we look at our CSS. <clears throat> H1. All right. So there the line height, but I, there's something, the color must have had to have changed too. Styles for the H1 that configure 200% line height. Well, that's all that it says. But this has got that blue. So I'm going to come in here. Maybe I don't have to do this, but I'm going to come in here. 003366. So I'm going to say here, color 003366. Why? So now when I come in here, now my heading is the, hopefully, is the right color. That was the only thing that looked a little funky from here. All right. So I've done everything for my home page. The services page, we're going to modify it in a similar manner. I've already added the link tag, and I've already added the navigation and all the other stuff. All right. And remove the strong tags. So that should look similar to this. So again, I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to bring up my services page. I'm again going to take a screenshot of it. Again, I'm most concerned with just grab this stuff right here copy it to the clipboard again you don't have to do what I'm what I'm showing you I'm doing it because I'm trying to be very consistent with what I'm showing you as opposed to what the book is showing you that's all all right so Fish Creek boom 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 all right again these look like they should be a different color all right so we should have that blue color for our bullet points and these are our um, LIs. So that's the color. We don't have to play with line height on those. The header. So let's double check. Run this. Oops, not, not run that one. Refresh, services. Now everything is that color. That's not what we wanted. I think these were, well, I don't know, let's look. Well, Launch a text editor, open this. Modify in a similar manner. Add the link tag, I did it. Configure the navigation area, I did it. The page footer area, I did it. Configure the category classes. Hint, use the span to contain the name of each service offered and remove the strong tags. Got it. Okay. Make it real simple. I don't want to come in and change those LIs. Shouldn't have done that. Error on my part. Here's a something to tell you. It won't be the first time I make an error or the last. So for each one of these, span, class equal category. And then my end span. Now let's take a look at it when we run it. 
okay, now we've got our, well, I've got three of them done at least. These three are now the right color. Let's go back and add the other two, which I didn't do. So now all of that is done, and I believe at least it looks the way that it does in the book. All right, so what's left? Step five, center page layout with CSS. Modify the Fish Creek index and services pages to configure the page content so that it's centered with an 80% width. Okay, add a style rule for an ID named wrapper and set all of this stuff. So we'll copy that. We'll go into our CSS file. We'll add an ID, which is a pound sign, named wrapper. We want our width set to 80%. We want a margin right that's set to auto. And we want a margin left, which is also set to auto. All right, that's what we're told to do Oops, for this. Okay, there's our wrapper. All right, so that's the first part. Launch the text editor. Open the index file. Add the code to configure a div with wrapper. All right that wraps or contains the code, everything within the body section. All right, and then do the same thing within the services page. Okay, so that should be it. That should be all that we have. So let's try it. We'll come first to our index underneath the body. We'll put in here wrapper. I think it's a div with an ID equal wrapper. All right, so we'll put that at the beginning. And then right before our ending body tag, we'll end that div. Let's come to our services page and do the same thing. So let's end our div. And up here at the beginning of this, div ID equal wrapper believe that's what they told us to do in the book. Yep, a div element with an ID of wrapper. Okay, so notice how it's looking more centered. There's our services. Something is goofed up there, so we'll fix that right now. It's in our nav section. We're in services. That should have said index.html, not a problem. And for our home page, that says home and services, so that looks good. Let's run it one last time. Centered, there's our home page. Doesn't look perfect, but you can see it's already starting to come together. All right, that should be it for chapter three, and I'll come back in just a little bit with chapter four.